Hello again everyone. In this demo I'm going to show you Traffic Manager, how to use it to route among various endpoints. If we look at my dashboard here you can see I've got a Traffic Manager profile already set up and I've got three web apps. One's uh, named LA East US, that's in the East US. I've got another named LA North Europe, that's in North Europe, Ireland. And then I've got LA Japan East, which is in Japan. And I can see these individual web apps right here. You can see this is East US, uh, here's North uh, Europe, and then here's Japan East. Okay. And again, I have these lined up in a traffic manager profile. So I want to just quickly open up this profile. Here again, you can see the three different web apps that I'm backboning uh, here. And if I come over to the configuration panel, you can see I've got my routing method set for performance. There are three different kinds of routing uh, methods for Traffic Manager. There's performance, weighted, and priority. Uh, performance is basically whichever endpoint has the least latency to the person making the request, that's the website that's going to be sent. So since I'm in the East US, in theory, every time I go to Traffic Manager to get to one of these few sites, I should see this East US site. Then uh, the other options I've got are weighted. Weighted is a basically a way to uh, round robin. Uh, it, in fact, in the classic version of uh, Traffic Manager that was called round robin, it's basically a way to apply rules around when, uh, how often I'm going to see one site over another. So I could, for example, say uh, I'm just going to have a straight round robin in which every single call to this endpoint will go between East US, Europe, and Japan. Or I could say I want 75% of traffic to go to East US and I want another 25, I want 10% to go to North Europe and 15% to go to Japan. I could do it that way as well, right? Um, but so it's some sort of algorithm that determines every single site gets seen. There's some algorithm that determines how often they get seen. It's either um, an even chance or you can apply weights to them. And then finally, there's priority. This is what was called in uh, classic failover. Basically what it is, there will be a primary site, which will be the first endpoint listed in this case. Um, that would be East US. And then I will fail over in order to the other site. So since I have an East US, then J uh, uh, Japan, then North Europe, um, if East US went down, then all traffic would be routed to Japan. If Japan then went down, then all traffic would be sent to North Europe. So those are the three different configurations. As you can see, again, I have performance chosen as my, my current value. And so when I come over here, if you can see right here, the actual address is la7534.trafficmanager.net, which is my actual correct traffic manager profile. But when I refresh, I actually see the LA East uh, website. And the reason for that is because I'm in East US, so I'm going to see the site that's nearest to me, the site that performs best. Okay, new on your screen, uh, you can see that I have this program that's labeled Astral. Astral is a virtual private networking service, or VPN, and basically allows me to tunnel my IP traffic through some different geographic endpoint. In this case, you can see I've got Korea chosen here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn Astral. Well, before I do that, let me move this out of the way just for a second. If I refresh here, you can see that I'm still seeing US East whenever I refresh on my traffic manager profile, right? So here's my traffic manager profile. I'm still seeing uh, East US. I'm going to go ahead and turn on Astral to mimic that I'm in Korea. So all my traffic, as soon as this connects, is going to be routed through a point, endpoint at, in Korea. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to refresh this page. And if all goes according to plan, I should see the Japan endpoint. So I should see LA Japan East dot azure websites dot net as soon as i refresh here and sure enough i do right and the reason for that is i'm in performance mode of traffic manager so i'm going to see the endpoint that's nearest to what looks like my current endpoint my current endpoint looks my current point of presence looks like i'm in korea so i get served the japan version i'm going to turn this off real quick and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a European endpoint I'll choose Germany this time so now I'm going to act as though I'm in Germany It'll take just a moment for uh, my VPN to connect. Now when I re uh, go ahead and hit the refresh button, I should see North Europe come up. So I'm going to go ahead and hit North, uh, I'm going to go ahead and refresh, and sure enough, there's LA North Europe at azurewebsites.net. If I turn Astral off entirely, and I refresh here again, I'm back to East US. So that's how performance routing in Traffic Manager works. It says, give me the endpoint that has the least latency 
to wherever I am in the world. As you saw, you saw when I acted as though I was in Asia, I saw the Asia version of my website. When I acted as though I was in Europe, I saw the Europe version. And when I acted like I was in the East, you know, when I acted like I was in the United States, I saw the United States version. Okay, now I'm going to show you how the priority system works in Traffic Manager. So if I come over here to the profile, click on configuration, you can see right now we're in performance mode. And again, what that does is routes traffic to whatever the best performing endpoint is for my location. Now I'm going to swap that to priority. What priority does is, let me go ahead and just save this right now while I'm at it. What priority does is it allows me to route traffic to a primary endpoint and then to other endpoints if that primary endpoint fails to respond. So if I click on endpoints here, you can see here are my three websites, LA East US, LA Japan East, and LA North Europe. LA East US is set with priority one. What that means is all the traffic that goes on this traffic manager endpoint. So if I come over here in this traffic manager endpoint and I hit refresh, all the traffic is going to go to LA East US until it fails. If there's a problem with LA East US, if it can't serve the request, then Traffic Manager is automatically going to fail over all requests to LA Japan East. And then if by some tremendously bad set of circumstances, both LA East US and LA Japan East goes down, then Traffic Manager will serve all traffic to LA North Europe. So that's the purpose behind these priority numbers. Lower the priority, the more it takes the traffic. Priority number one does all the traffic until it goes down. Then priority number two, if both one and two are offline, then three will pick up the slack, okay? It's going to take a little bit of time for this to work. So what I'm going to do before we get into this is I'm going to come over here to the LA East US web app, and I'm going to go ahead and stop it, all right? Just to simulate what would uh, happen if uh, Traffic Manager has to kick in. So LA East US, I'm going to go ahead and refresh here, and you can see the web app is stopped, Okay. Now, I can't actually use Traffic Manager yet because there's a five-minute TTL on Traffic Manager. Let me show you where that is. So when I actually look at the config, you can see I've got a DNS time to live of 300 seconds. So it's going to take five minutes, 300 seconds, for Traffic Manager to realize the East US is down and to actually swap it over, okay? So if I come over here to the Traffic Manager and I hit refresh, I'm probably going to get that same 403 error. Yeah, you can see that. So I'm going to wait a little bit, and we're going to come back, and I'm going to refresh here, and you should see Japan start serving this. All right, it's been about five minutes. Let's see if this has swapped over yet. It has. So again, because I've got my primary endpoint offline, because when I look at the profile here, and I look at my endpoints, I can see that that stopped, and sure enough it is. When I come over to my traffic manager and refresh, I'm getting the Japan version. Now what I can do is go ahead and fail over, or stop rather, the Japan instance. That's the wrong one, that's Europe. If I click on Japan and stop that one, we'll come back in five minutes and see whether or not that is failed over correctly. Okay, so it's been a little while. Let's uh, see if Japan East is still up and running. This is the actual website for LA Japan East. If I hit refresh, I can see it stopped. If I come over here and refresh with a little bit of luck, we're going to see North Europe. And there it is. So again, if I come back and look at the priorities on the endpoints, I can see that LA East US was supposed to be number one. LA Japan East was supposed to be number two. Both of those are down. So I went to LA, uh, so I went to LA North Europe. Now what I'm going to do is turn LA East US back on. We're going to wait about five minutes again. And when I come back, that should be when I refresh here on the traffic manager profile, I should see US East. It's been a few minutes. Let's see if uh, LA East US is back up. It is. So if I come back over here to the traffic manager one more time, when I refresh, I should see LA East US. And there it is. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, weighted routing. Uh, as we described previously, weighted routing is a way to even to distribute traffic across all the endpoints that are part of the traffic manager. I, I can either do that straight up one to one, so that every single endpoint has an equal opportunity to appear. That's called round robining, and in fact, in the classic portal, uh, that's how what the actual feature was called. 
or I can actually assign a weight to each endpoint, which will affect how often it's shown. So the first thing I want to do is uh, in my traffic manager profile, I'm going to click on configuration from priority. I'm going to choose weighted and I'm just going to choose save. And as soon as that takes, now if I go back and look at my endpoints, I see that this column is shifted over to weight. And right now everything is assigned to one. This weight value is a value somewhere between one and a thousand. And the higher the number, the more likely it is I'm going to see this endpoint. So right now, all these endpoints share the numeral one. That means each one of these endpoints, LA East US, LA Japan East, and LA North Europe, they all have an equal chance of showing up. So for every three visits, I should in theory see LA East US once, LA Japan East once, and LA North Europe once. That's not entirely true, and we'll get into that in just a moment. Um, but basically the idea is across the broad spectrum of all visits, because all of these endpoints have the same weight, they all have roughly the same opportunity to show up, regardless of where the person is in the world who's visiting. So every three requests, I should see LA East US once, LA Japan East once, and LA North Europe once, regardless of where I am in the world. <clears throat> so with that done, what I want to do is I want to now go ahead and set the weights on these. So let's suppose I decide, no, what I'm really doing, the reason I, what I really want to do is I want to transition people out from looking at the North Europe side. I want them to either see LA East US or LA Japan East. Well, I can do that just by setting up the weights to be higher. So if I click on this right here, I can edit and I can set the weight. Now, if I set the weight here for East US to be, say, 300 and save that... I'm almost always going to see LA East US now in this endpoint. I'm hardly ever going to see Japan East. I'm hardly ever going to see uh, North Europe. And I could do this as a percentage. So if what I really wanted to do was say, okay, I want LA East US to show up 60% of the time, then what I could do is I could say, okay, LA East US, you're going to have a weight of 600. And then LA Japan East, you're going to have a weight of 300. And then... LA North Europe, you're going to have a weight of 100. So now with this configuration, I'm not sure why that's not taking, let me discard it and try it again. It's going to have a weight of 100. So now what I'm basically saying is 60% of the time I'm going to see LA East US, 30% of the time I'm going to see LA Japan East, and 10% of the time I'm going to see North Europe. So that is a directly proportional. Again, the higher the weight number, the more likely it is I'm going to see that particular endpoint. And it's the number between 1 and 1,000. But I'm just going to go ahead and let these be a straight round robin. So I'm going to go back and set each of these to 1. So again, yes, it will work as a percentage, but also at the same time, there's a possibility. And you can see there's a little something wrong in the dashboard here. It doesn't always want to take the save. I can just do it as a straight percentage as I just did, or I can just use these as a ratio. I don't actually have to have a percentage. I can do a ratio where it's one to one to one, for example, in this case, so that everything has an equal opportunity. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and save this. It'll take a few minutes for the endpoint to warm up. Uh, again, that TTL has to transpire in order for this to take. So I'm just going to go ahead and wait this out, and we'll take a look at the results in just a bit. So I'd love to be able to show you how the traffic manager works at weighted level. But if I come over here to the traffic manager and I just start hitting the refresh button, you can see I've got LA East US. And if I keep, keep any refresh, I'm just going to keep getting the same response. And the reason for that is here in the documentation. Not only is my browser uh, caching this, and I could certainly hold down the shift key and refresh, which I'm doing right now, and I'd still get East US. Not only is, the browse, not only is my browser caching it, um, but also I've got DNS caching. The DNS uh, servers themselves are caching the results. That's the purpose behind that TTL, that five minutes. So no matter what, because I'm only a single client, I will always see East US for at least five minutes while the TTL period is transpiring. And I'll probably, there's just as, even, as much of a chance that I'm going to see East US again. So it may be 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes, an hour two hours before I see anything different at this endpoint using that evenly weighted scale. But if I distribute that across the entirety of my distribution, okay, so as it says here, if I go to the entirety 
of all the different clients all around the world that might be visiting this endpoint, the waiting works in that sense. So because I have a lot of people looking at the website across a vast array of locations, the waiting actually will work in that case. I, every single client has will have statistically the same opportunity to see the East, the Europe, and the Japan versions of the website. But because I'm only one guy, at the very least, I'm not going to see a different website for the next five minutes. And I probably may not see the same, the different website after that five-minute TTL time. So I'd love to show it to you. I can't, but trust me, it does work. And if I come back in five minutes, like I said, maybe this works, maybe it doesn't. I'm not going to bother spending that much time, wasting your time, waiting for that to happen. But waiting does work if you go out to large enough a scale. Just wanted to get that out of the way. And that's it for this demo.